Hey it's Erica, we're gonna be checking out Novice, the birth of Novice. Who knew Novice was gonna have a debut? <gasps> Not me, that's my novice novice, that's my novice, that's a bar. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking to do something clever and then I flubbed the bar. So um yeah, very interesting. I didn't see this one coming. Uh talk about a debut being teased for years, girl, years on that. Um, and we've experienced a lot of novice before and this is the birth of novice So maybe she's coming to the real world. Is that what we're doing? Gotta put my brain back in the Espa lore or the SM entertainment lore of the Kwangya verse um, So yeah, overall, I'm excited to be checking this out. This is not the official debut. This is like a Trailer, I guess we should call it a short film in the anticipation of the debut um, but yeah, so I guess it would be SM technically first like virtual idol or like AI idol or whatever they're called these days um, So yeah, I'm intrigued. So yeah, you know what it like go Okay title card cinematic title card Giant step technical creative. Oh, is that the team that maybe worked on this? Oh my god, she looks so real. Like, I thought she looked real in the other music videos and stuff. Nah, she looks real now. Is it a real person? Hold up. Now I'm confused. That's like way better than video game trailers. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, she looks a lot animated here. But like, still so real at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? What was that? I was... What do we do, novice? Where are we running to, girl? Ooh, look at the hair effects. Wow. Wow. What is that? The everything bagel? I mean, just her face and the hair effects are crazy. Where's she going? What is that doing? Uh, is that good? Whoa. Transfer from Kwangi to real world. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Are those coordinates? Or it's a code for something? I don't know. Whoa. Um... Um... Is that Novice's voice? Or is it just music? This is trippy sci-fi, but I love. But it, the voice sounds like... Whoa. She has been birthed. They're like not showing her, so- and it's a very dark video which is clever because if it's dark can mask cgi better she looks so real it's crazy but it's almost like too perfect so that's it's slightly uncanny but it looks she looks great Is that her voice? Because it kind of sounds like Nining a little bit. The birth of Novice. Novice has been born. That was really cool. I love how heavy they went in terms of like the more sci-fi aesthetic of it. The more sci-fi look of it. Giant Step LA. They did a fantastic job with it. You can definitely tell she isn't a real person because it's just like she's almost like too perfect. You know what I mean? Um, Like humans have a lot of like imperfections. So... 
even in terms of like even video game characters like when you get super close up on their faces and you see pores and you see little hairs and little details and it's just like kind of say they have acne scars and you're just like why would a video game character have acne scars like what is this um like do for it but like i feel like with um and also i guess depending on the video game and stuff um sometimes they add a lot more to um the characters and stuff to kind of give them a story and stuff just based off like their facial structure you know sometimes you can get um uh uh like uh like backstory within that and so but she's i mean she's like she's from the Kwanya, you know what I mean? So it definitely makes sense why, like, they would give her, like, essentially the most perfect face ever. Um, and that definitely, like, makes sense for, like, what that is. But that's, like, I think what is slightly, like, uncanny about it. Um, but, I mean, it looks amazing. The Qu That's, like, the best, probably, CGI I think you can, like, I've ever seen. Quite possibly. Um, yeah, I mean, recently, but the last thing I saw in the movie theaters was, like, Probably Deadpool and Wolverine had really good CGI and stuff. A lot of the stuff that they were doing within there looked really good. Um, and not as bad as some other like Marvel movies have been and stuff. But I think that right there was pretty good. I think TV wise, I don't know what I've recently watched TV wise that's heavy on the CGI. I'm not positive and stuff. But sometimes it's like stuff you can't see that gets masked and stuff versus like what you as obviously CGI. Um, but yeah, and so like I think that's like the toppest tier thing we can get. And that's the other thing with like SM, like they've always been with such a high quality of like their CGI and stuff. And I feel like that's why we haven't really seen the A versions of like the ESPO members. Because what they use is probably so expensive, it's insane. But yeah, there is a slight uncanniness to it. Um, and I think maybe it's just like your brain is like turned on a little bit more to that like uncanny nature of it. Um, because you're looking for the imperfections. You know what I mean? Um, well, you know what? I did see Alien Romulus and that was a nightmare fuel, but that CGI was really good for that one too um as well um that was the last thing i saw theaters um so yeah i think that's like why you look toward because you are looking for like imperfections um especially these days when it comes to like cgi or like ai and stuff like that um but she looks good i mean they made her look good they were very clever with making it a very darker scene for one it kind of leads into the sci-fi aspect of sort of what they were creating here with the birth of novice um but also it's easier to hide like it's easy to hide bad cgi but this wasn't bad but it was clever um in the fact of um i don't know that it just maybe like you might like it's not masking bad stuff but like it's just clever in the way of um if it's fully lit and it's fully bright and stuff that's where there can be even more like imperfections noticed and seen not that i'm not saying that there was here but um it was a very i feel like good decision technical technically wise um to do it but even like the lighting on her when she was in the quang it was like on her face i'm like it was so natural it was so good it was so real some of the best lighting these days does come from like animation um but that's just because you have 100% complete control of the environment if you're shooting live action stuff and say like you're outside you have to deal with the sun you have to deal with all these other elements and sure you can set up 500 different lights um to sort of create the lighting that you do want but it's a lot more expensive um and it's there's practical issues the technical issue it's a thing um but yeah but i think it was really cool i mean it's literally the birth of novice that's what it was was novice coming into the real world and it was really solid overall really nicely edited good pacing uh great quality cgi and stuff and it makes me wonder um because like how she was birthed and how she was like glitchy and stuff you know at the end of the black mamba music video and there's like something kind of like coming out of like the ground in the subway if that was like a like alluding to the birth of novice and they never got around to it until right now um because before, remember, Navis couldn't leave the Kwangya, you know, the Kwangya. Um, so now she is here. Um, we'll see how it fits into the lore that SM has established for not only Aspa, but all their groups. Or if Navis is just here to say, we'll see how it works with virtual idols. I don't 
there's I don't check out a lot of groups or like even nowadays I just don't check out artists who are known to be like virtual like this so it's kind of like my first experience with that I know there's a lot that uh, there's a handful out there um so yeah it's definitely a first for me but really great stuff overall I really like what they're doing as if they got the money throw it there that was really great production extremely cinematic probably the most cinematic thing that they've dropped and stuff because it literally is um a little short film, a little cinema aspect to it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even... I don't even know if the entire world was all CGI and stuff, or they shot stuff like live action. But the cat, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If that cat was CGI, that's the best CGI cat I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, even if it was all sort of CGI and not some of it captured live action, they really killed that. That's insane. Um, but yeah, so shout out to all the artists that sort of made that happen. Um, yeah, go to pretty awesome comments down below to talk about Novice. The birth of novice. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, um, go and hit that subscribe button. Novice. Yes. Uh, sorry. I I was like maybe I should read the Korean. I don't. Know, but it's it's not ibista. Novice. Uh, your thoughts, comments down below. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to hear more of my video, if you want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. Want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, the description down below, or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing Spider Man 2, so if you can join me over there for that, link's in the description down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't you? Good girl, cha cha.